behind the gates of Soweto's historic Morris Isaacson High School is a place of hope and empowerment. In one dynamic building, there is a place of sound and song, melody and rhythm. Its halls are a place of scholarship and harmony. This is the Cape Gate Miyagi Center for Music, a gateway to another world for over 100 children. Almost 200 additional children will join this community through the Early Childhood Development Program, presented by CMCM at local creches and primary schools. Here at Cape Gate, we focus on teaching children music and helping them discover their talents through music, and also how to communicate skills of leadership and interpersonal skills that they might have that they develop through playing with each other. We focus mostly on the young, I think it's mostly the young generation, to enable them to sort of get into this environment where they learn music, they learn other skills, and I think it creates a new reality for the children. Now I'm happy that we have kids who came here who did not even know how to speak English or even know how to understand what a minimum is or even a time signature, a bridge, how to count on a song. But now you can just go outside, go into my class and just find them jamming. They'll tell you what time signature are we playing on, what keys are we playing on. It's a new thing to Soweto. We've grown from a very small number of, of students uh, learning only a few instruments through to over 100 students at the centre itself who each have ensemble theory, instrumental lessons and, and the choir as well, of course. It's amazing to introduce the idea of music as something that one learns and can study and uh, enjoy it on a level other than just hearing it. What I'm noticing more and more about the centre is how much it develops a, a person as an individual. It's a sustainable personal development interchangeable skills that are not relevant just to music, but to uh, society in general, the workplace, further study. Now with our uh, communication via Skype and the ARCO project with Birmingham in the UK, we're looking to hopefully go global with that. We can bring as much to Soweto and as much of Soweto to the world as possible. Um, and it just opens so many doors. This institution it's, it's, it's bringing out the goodness in Soweto. Everybody is like family to me. For me as a parent and also a community member, it has brought change to our children. Because now they are learning instruments that we never thought uh, they would have access to. Kids want to belong. So either they belong to a something constructive or they may just belong to the streets. And you can see children when they come from the school, they're happy, they're proud, so they carry the music with pride and they share with their friends. These kids are our future Johannesburg Philharmonic, our future uh, Cape Town Philharmonic. And, and not just, not just uh, a Philharmonic or playing for an orchestra, but, but even greater things. These are, these are the future stars of our country. When I get to class, you have art classes and music classes. When I get there, I already have knowledge about it. So when I get there, a teacher will always be like, you, you know music, come answer the questions. And I, I really feel it's really nice and there's other people I can share it with at school. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just grateful that they, they have this opportunity. We are becoming a community like we used to be in the olden days. And it's something that was lacking of late. Like when they invite the community to come and experience, you know, what they are doing at the school. One day I want to attend an orchestra that will go other places. It's like violin. I thought I will never play it and it's my dream come true. Through these classes and the center, Soweto's children are given the key to their creativity and confidence. They find a true love of quality. That's why music is a great investment, one that the CMCM continues to make.